feel like Nepal has such a rich culture and I hope that more people get to enjoy it. I am so happy to be part of the beginning of this new era of Miss Universe Nepal 2024. I think that Nepal has everything that it needs. It's just a matter of supporting each other and taking the time to truly get into what it means to get ready for to be Miss Universe yeah. because it really goes beyond the external beauty. There is the social project aspect of it. That's something that needs a lot, uh, a lot of work. Um, there's the part of getting ready for the interview with the judges, which is actually a huge part of the competition. Um, it's also a lot of work on your security, how confident you are, the energy that other people feel when you walk into the room. So it's an overall beauty and an overall preparation that you need to achieve. But I'm very sure that with this team and with the support of all the international alliances that they have now, they're gonna achieve it. Beautiful people in Nepal, men and women. Incredible, I actually don't wanna leave yet. Uh, we have our flight back to China tonight. Uh, but it has definitely been seven incredible days. I had always wanted to come to Nepal. And like I said during the press conference, it really exceeded my expectations. Everybody has been so welcoming, so I cannot wait to come back. Yes, definitely. We went to a few temples. Maybe you guys can help me with the names of the place that we have visited. Yes, we have visited uh, Bhaktapur Dorwari Square. Uh, and we have also be visited uh, Pasupati Temple. Uh, and uh, what else? Actually, about, so you just uh, about the, the yes, yes, no, yes, yes. 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 Now we so have a few meetings. So. Chandragiri, Chandragiri Hills, <laughs> and both the stupa. And yesterday, the Alexander and I decided to go walk around, and we ended up in getting to a bazaar that's uh, very close to here. It was like a little market. Well, not little, it was huge. And we ended up walking around for five hours because there were so many things to see. Um, we took so many pictures and videos. So it has been such a good week. Um, like I said, I feel like Nepal has such a rich culture and I hope that more people get to enjoy it. I am so happy to be part of the beginning of this new era of Miss Universe Nepal 2024. I'm excited to see young women who are entrepreneurs being the face of organization, organizations such as Miss Universe, in this case Miss Universe Nepal. I think that this team has so many ideas and has a mission and a vision that will take them very, very far. Uh, obviously, I am just so excited for Miss Universe 2024 because now I feel that if Nepal gets to the top five or gets the, we the crown, yeah. um, I'm gonna feel like I was part of something, something new, something that helped showcase the beauty that Nepal has. You know, the thing about pageantry is that it really is about luck because if you had a different panel of judges on a different day, maybe the results would be different. So it really has nothing to do with you as a person, as a woman, as a candidate. Sometimes it's not in your hands to do everything, but what's in your hands is the preparation and in the hands of the team, is the preparation that they give the woman that's gonna represent Nepal. So I think that Nepal has everything that it needs. It's just a matter of supporting each other and taking the time to truly get into what it means to get ready for to be Miss Universe yeah. because it really goes beyond the external beauty. There is the social project aspect of it that's something that needs a lot, uh, a lot of work. Um, there's the part of getting ready for the interview with the judges, which is actually a huge part of the competition. Um, it's also a lot of work on your security, how confident you are, the energy that other people feel when you walk into the room. So it's an overall beauty and an overall preparation that you need to achieve. But I'm very sure that with this team and with the support of all the international alliances that they have now, they're gonna achieve it. international connection past six years as a beauty film currently international relations 
excited boy round boyo and now she is with us you know our expertise team or I'm missing on so definitely this time I'm looking for me so I'm really miss the nation in Balco in the universe thank you when we last visit I'm from Miss Universe 2023 because I'm the final international event you so they have any I mean like represent Korea could you walk with you I know so they have any I'm blue like Alexander so I'm blue international goes on on so advisor so wildly I mean as when you the potential of the energy they hear us so they offer the universe like Gornu boy one is it definitely I'm the Nepal was a key I'm the impression on the Nepali Nepali women are always very beautiful key Marcus was a mess in Nepali woman or the day I'm with a talent so for a penny like all was a key gone for say one day no I had to sang her energy boy to Sammy God is so they need why not? I mean, I've always wanted to come to Nepal wow. and being involved in this new beginning of yeah. the new era of Miss Universe Nepal is something that makes me feel excited, um, seeing other women um, achieving their dreams, not just them as the face of this organization, but also in the next few months, we're going to see an incredible group of candidates who are going to compete for the title of Miss Universe Nepal. And that's something that as a woman who has competed in pageantry and understands the opportunities that you can get through pageants, makes me very excited. So I really wanted to be part of the project. Well, I know it's famous, at least in my country, in Venezuela. All of the people that I know that I always wanted to come here is that side of the spirituality that you get to feel and live here in Nepal. I think there's something about the energy that you get when you come here and when you have the chance to visit those special places. To me, um, the artistic side of it always um, was something that interested me. Um, and obviously the food. I mean, the food here is amazing. Um, <laughs> every <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh my God, they're sorry. Yes, I was, yes. Yesterday we had to run around because I told them, I'm in Nepal, I need to wear a sari yes. because I think it's just, just such a beautiful part of your culture, of your traditions. Even if you like the bridal wear. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. I, I really wanted to wear that. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should because I love the culture so much. So who knows, maybe I'll be back for my wedding here. <laughs> oh, of course, there's beautiful people in Nepal, men and women. Uh, so who knows, maybe in the future you'll also have a competition for men, uh, since there's so many beautiful people here. Uh, but yes, um, and we're talking about beauty that's not just external. I think it's a combination of so many things. Yeah. Is the aura that people have, is the energy that you get when you talk to them. Um, Intelligence. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think I'm going to let them lead the way <laughs> since this week has been so incredible. I know that we had a lot of meetings, so we didn't really have time um, to get to see maybe as many things as I would like to. But when I come back, maybe we'll take a whole week yes. to yes. go explore. There's so many yes, there's so many things, so um, many things to, do. to do and mm -hmm. to see here in Nepal. It's just a matter of having the time. But I know that once you have the group of candidates who are yes. going to compete for the title of Miss yes. Universe Nepal, there's going to be a lot of activities. Yes. Uh, and hopefully I'll be here for that. Yeah. <laughs> God, I would love to. Um, so a little bit about myself. I lost my mom when I was very young. I was 16 years old. And my uncle, who happens to be a gay man, who is married to another guy who became my uncle, um, they pretty much adopted me since I was 16 years old. And up at that point, um, I had always seen the LGBT community as something normal. But when I moved in with them and they took me in as a daughter, was when I realized all the difficulties that the community still faces. And that's when I decided to utilize the platforms that pageantry has given me to speak up for the community that has given me so much love. So. Every time I have an opportunity to speak about that experience and to speak up for the members of that community who still today in 2024 face discrimination because of who they choose to love, um, I do it. And of course, if I get the chance to do something related to that here in Nepal, I would love to. You struggle when you grow up in the rains. I go to you. I thought of an amble of all day. I know press mid body meet it. I'm to press mid boy to be around by I go to the question or other mother keep on the answer when you be courageous. Say so you live in Afno Corris Lagarita Helenus. Definitely we will gonna do success. Okay, Miru say main theme. Nick or is.
Namaste, I am Ragi Raja Lakshmi Shah and you will hear the news on Kendra Bindu TV. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. Sarvadik Lokpriya, Sabitri Kanchanjanga Agarbati.